Inside of this box is the brand new Boston Sack Shop M-Series Alto mouthpiece. Today I'm going to be unboxing it and getting my first impressions. Okay, um, this is a ligature. That's something else. Mouthpiece cap. That looks pretty standard. Okay, so here's the box that it comes in. You can see on the end it has the model and the tip opening. Yeah, I got a seven tip opening. Okay, I actually can't tell if I'm supposed to like slide this out or if I'm supposed to pop this open. Uh, I don't think that's how I'm supposed to open it. <laughs> Maybe it is. Oh, whoa. Comes with this nice little card from Jack Tyler, the owner of Boston Sack Shop. Okay, so the mouthpiece is in here. This is like a velvet bag. I don't know how else to describe it. This is pretty common with a lot of mouthpieces. They usually come in some type of little like drawstring bag. But obviously this one has the Boston Sack Shop logo on it, which is pretty cool. All right, let's check out the mouthpiece. Whoa. So this is it. It looks pretty standard, like any other standard hard rubber mouthpiece. You can see it has the Boston Sack Shop logo on the top, as well as a line for how far to put your ligature on, and it comes with a Boston Sack Shop mouthpiece patch on it. I know very little about the mechanics of how a mouthpiece works. I know some of the terms, like baffle and rails and chamber. I'll put all of those specs on the screen right now, but I have no clue what a lot of it means. Also, I am playing Boston Sack Shop strength three and a half reeds, as well as this superlative ligature in a brass finish, which he sent along with the mouthpiece for me to try. Try. And you can use code Frank for 10% off your Boston Sack Shop order. He did send me this mouthpiece for free with no expectation of a review. But just like any of my previous videos, I will always be 100% honest with how I feel about a product, regardless of if I have an affiliation with them or not. All right, uh, here are my first notes. <laughs> Okay, right off the bat, it feels really good. It has like a warm, thick core, I guess. I feel weird saying that. I'm not really a mouthpiece reviewer. I've never been a huge gear guy. It's definitely a little darker than my Sios, and I actually kind of like that. I've been kind of trying to get closer to Eddie Barbash's sound, which is a little darker. Let me play it for a few more minutes. Okay, I've been playing this mouthpiece for probably 15 minutes now, and I have a few thoughts. My first thought is, it feels really good. Just like any mouthpiece, you really need to spend some time with it to figure out its tendencies. And I can feel on certain notes, my airstream isn't like as focused as it could be, just because I'm not used to the mouthpiece. Especially like the Altissimo register, I definitely need to like voice just slightly different, so it's kind of throwing me off. But I just feel like I want to play it, which is a good feeling. I will say it feels slightly less resistant than my Sios, which is also a seven tip opening, but it could be something to do with like my Sios has a bigger baffle and this is like a small 
rollover baffle, I think. I can always just go up a little bit in my read strength, so that might be something I end up doing. But for now, I'll probably just stick to the three and a half. I don't know. I like the way it plays and I like the way it sounds, and it's a little darker, which is kind of what I'm looking for right now. At the end of the day, so much of setup is personal preference. So just because I like something or don't like something doesn't necessarily mean you won't like it or you will. And it definitely doesn't mean you'll sound exactly like the person who plays on it. But if you're in the market for a new Alto mouthpiece, I think this is definitely one that you should check out, especially if you're coming from something like a Meyer or a Daddario Select Jazz. I played both of those mouthpieces in high school and even into college. And this mouthpiece definitely feels like it's kind of in the ballpark of that same style of mouthpiece. It feels super versatile. Like I feel like I could play this in any setting and get away with it. Also, Boston Sack Shop is really good about like trying products and, you know, either returning them if you don't like them or having Jack work on them to really get it dialed in. So that's really awesome. Anyways, huge thank you to Jack for sending me this mouthpiece and ligature. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.